I don't prescribe calcium at all. Any supplements you're like, you got to be on this. I mean, women think, and I still think this is really striking to me because women are like, I need to take a lot of calcium. And my doctor says I need to take 1,500 milligrams of calcium a day. And he gives them a prescription for 1,500 milligrams of calcium. Not realizing that's the total dose for the entire yeah. day. And it less matters what calcium you take in and how much more than how much you put out. For example, in Africa, they uh, consume probably 300 milligrams of calcium a day, but they they retain the calcium and they have no no osteoporosis there in, in the women, partly because they're African, but partly because they just don't they don't lose the calcium. Whereas we may take in 1,500 and we lose a lot. Uh, so I think the whole idea of supplementation with calcium, vitamin D, can you talk about that? I don't prescribe calcium at all. In fact, I teach people mm. what foods have calcium in them because if I can help my people eat dairy or salmon with the bones in it or sardines or mm, mushrooms, mm, and it's mm. not that hard to get twelve to 1,500 milligrams of calcium in your food if you're eating a whole foods diet. But when we take calcium thinking that we're building our bones or we're not going to fracture, uh, A, it doesn't work like that. And B, it's not the density of our bones that prevents us from fracturing. It's the quality of our bones. And if our bones are brittle because, because the inside of our bones um, are weak, we're more likely to fracture and calcium is, is mainly in the cortex. So I don't prescribe calcium, teach people how to get it from their whole foods. 